You broke some news today. So tell us the news you broke and why. Well, they, you didn't break it. They broke it for you, but. Yes, I was just about to ask you what news did I break? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about it. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm only running the 200 meter here, and yeah, just period, just period. I love it. So this is your third Olympics too. Yes. So what are you most excited about? Um, just to compete. I think I, as I said, in 2016, I had an experience of my life. I went to opening ceremony. 2021, 2021 came about where we, as the grass, we were isolated. This year is more like, okay, then it's my third Olympic. I get used to being at the Olympic now. So it's just the focus now. Yeah, it's locking. What's good, everybody? It's Aaron Brown. And before this video starts, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's linked down below in the description. And let's jump straight into it. So the world champion of the last two years, over 200 meters, Sharika Jackson, has pulled out of the 100 for the Olympics, which starts in the next few days, like two, three days. And I've been hearing whispers about Sharika Jackson pulling out the 100 just to run the 200. A lot of people saying, oh, this is so crazy. This is so bad, blah, blah, blah. But it still seems that she's healthy, but she just rather go all in on the 100, I mean, on the 200 and not have to make additional risk. And then the 100 is really approaching super fast, so she might as well get extra days of rest too, extra days of rehab, extra days of recovery, and just go all in on this 200 because you got to think about it. A 80% of a 21.4 runner can beat 100% of a 21.8 runner. So even then, Gabby Thomas still stands no chance. Sharika says she's good. That doubling really takes a lot out of your body. And if you're not a thousand percent, then you shouldn't double. Like it wouldn't be smart to double. So I wholeheartedly agree why, why they would do this because one gold medal at the Olympics is better than two silver medals at the Olympics, in my opinion. And she's only getting older. This is her third Olympics. So she might as well do what she knows she can do when would she know she can win and at 200 meters is it right there but with this being said this is in my opinion a free gold medal for Shakira Richardson in my opinion there is no way in hell that she does not win gold and if she comes back from Paris without a gold medal in the 100 she's simply the biggest choke artist of all time like this is the easiest cakewalk to a gold medal that there has ever been in history. So if she does not get the gold medal, I'm gonna be disappointed personally. She's gonna be disappointed and the whole world is gonna be disappointed because in my opinion, there's only two front runners that are even capable. Well, I'm not gonna say capable of getting gold, but if everybody ran up to their potential, Sarika Jackson and Shakira Richardson were the only two that were technically able to get gold if everybody runs their perfect race. Now, don't get me wrong, one wrong mistake, and a Julian Alfred could go take the gold medal, a Shelly Ann could go take the gold medal, hell, a Melissa Jefferson could go take the gold medal, hell, a little Tia Clayton can go take the gold medal if mistakes are being made. But even with slight mistakes, Shakira Richardson still should clear the field and be able to go win a gold medal. But I do know this was a showdown that many, many people were anticipating and wanting to see. But we'll definitely see it in the future again. Um, but we just got to be fortunate that Sharika Jackson will more than likely be healthy enough to do what she usually does in a 200. Maybe not up to the 100% level that she is, usually does it. But she will be good enough to go out there and mop the floor with girls like Gabby Thomas and people like that. Which will be a beautiful sight to see. Because I'm not really the biggest fan of girls like Gabby Thomas. She's talented and fast, really mostly only at... Hayward Field. She usually doesn't run much quicker than 21.8 anywhere outside of Hayward Field. And just for that reason, I'm not really that big of a fan of her. Sharika Jackson coach said things have been going good. Training has been going good. So that is on the upside and I'm glad to hear that. And I'm very, very curious to see how she will look when she pops out. I think she will look pretty decent because I pretty much had the same injury she had this season and I was good a few weeks later like three weeks later and then I came back around the 200 and opened up with a PR 
And I know she has way better doctors than I had and way better medical staff and personnel than I had. So I think she would definitely be be good to go. She may not be in PR shape, but luckily she damn near broke the world record, so she doesn't have to be anywhere near a PR to win. Because when you have people like Gabby Thomas, who are the second fastest behind the Sharika Jackson, that just goes to show how mediocre the field is anyways. So if I was her, I would take my chances in the 200 as well than the 100. Put all your eggs in one basket that you're 100% confident in to worry. Because she knows in the 100, she has to be 100%, a thousand percent, and run a really, 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 really good race to go out there and win. But the 200, 85%, and can run a semi-decent race and still go out there and win. So I think she's smart for this. And then she also gets few extra days of rest, a few extra days of recovery, a few extra days of rehab. So in my opinion, this was the smartest decision that could have been made. And plus, they've been talking about this for the last week or so, that she's um, probably going to pull out the 100. And then, good thing for Jamaica, they get to run another person, Sasha Lee's Forbes. So we get to see how she can go out there and fare against the best in the world in the 100. And I also um, respect this decision by Sharika Jackson because giving somebody else an opportunity to run who is 100%, because some people would be super selfish and just um, still go out there and run knowing they're not 1,000% healthy when there was somebody else who could have ran. So I respect her for giving that opportunity to somebody else as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Is this a free gold medal for Shakari? And how would y'all feel if Shakari went out there and still didn't win?